Alright, we're here today with Marie Avdiropoulos, star of The Hundred and the new movie Tracers. Hi, Marie. Hi, how are you? Congratulations on surviving another season. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you never know, right? You it's just, true, yeah. Just, you always roll the dice in this business. You never know what's going to stick to the wall. Yeah, well, obviously at this point it feels like Octavia can survive anything. Absolutely. I'm really proud of her character arc. Um, according to the critics and the fans, she's had one of the most uh, dramatic um, and extreme character arcs going from one extreme to the other uh, between, you know, the pilot episode and now at the end of the season two finale, she's just changed so dramatically. And uh, it's been such a pleasure to play her. So how long after you got cast did you realize, oh, this character is going in like a totally new direction from where she started? I had no idea where she was headed. Uh, the TV world is so much different than the film world in the sense that you get the script um, the new script for the new episode the day before you're finishing the episode of the last, the last day of the previous episode. Right. So every new script is a new journey. Uh, it's like Christmas morning, you open a gift, you have no idea what it is. But um, we all, the writers are, of the show and Jason Rothenberg are really receptive to uh, us as the artists and the actors and, and, and what we wanted. And at the end of the day, I'm like, I need a sword and a horse. <laughs> I got the sword, still waiting for the horse. <laughs> so where do you think Octavia is at the end of season two? At the end of season two, Octavia has just transformed um, completely. She's a grounder now. Um, it's not that she had left her people because she was never really part of them either to begin with. She was always the outcast. Uh, she was, you know, her crime was simply being born. I'm the only one with the sibling. I was hidden under the floor. Uh, my entire life on the Ark. So um, she really found her place in the world through Lincoln, um, through that Romeo and Juliet romance that was completely forbidden. And he, he taught her how to fight, he taught her how to survive, and she, a lot of that bravery I think was seen um, with the rest of the group of the Hundred um, because they started to follow suit as well. And, you know, of course loyalty lines are crossed, but people really started to realize there's a bigger picture here and that's just survival in general. Right. So how is she feeling towards Clark at this point? They seem to be very at odds now. Uh, they are definitely at odds um, since she didn't give me the memo and when they blew up Tondisi and luckily I wasn't there yeah. to be a part of that blast. But there's definitely animosity between these two characters but at the end of the day they're very compassionate and love each other at the end of the day but it, it'd be the same thing as you know because Octavia looks up to Clark as well but uh, I think finally now there's been a, a sort of dichotomy change that she looks up to Octavia too and uh, the betrayal was such a major factor in season two and we'll see how they reconcile that in season three. Right. Well where do you hope to see her in season three? I honestly have no idea because the writers have these wonderful creative minds and it'll be a surprise to me and the viewers too. Yeah. It'll be cool to see her like at the City of Light with that whole storyline. Who separate. knows? Yeah. I want to see the light. Yeah. I'm sure Octavia does too. <laughs>